Hey guys, something new for you guys to see. Brother just brought it over a test. You can see how it does. Mm. Well, it's <laughs> Ignore the pills, it's not what you think. Everything that it comes with, except for the laser. Well, the full grip and the speed loader also don't come with it. That's my own. The gun itself. Very solid gun, die cast metal on the bottom, very strong feeling, ABS plastic upper receiver, um, adjustable hop up obviously, very interesting place. Uh, bolt catch seems a little stiff coming back, but no problem at all. Uh, sights are adjustable, tools inside, but still uh, standard sights, you can adjust it for the difference, uh, sorry, for the distance. Buttstock, uh, this, this thing is beautiful. Once it catches down, it's not moving. You actually need to squeeze it to bring it back, and it locks in place. But it works beautifully. I mean, fits very well. Uh, I also recommend. Well, here's the one of the mags it comes with. Uh, it says 50 round, but I can only fit about 35 in there. Um, I don't know if it'll get better over time, but cheap pliers. <coughs> I don't know. This drum mag holds about 350. I'm using point twos with this because I tried point five, and that just dipped after like 20 feet. So. Um, I haven't tried point .12, but i got to pick up some of those. Um, the low cap mag is a metal, and this one is ABS plastic. I mean, if you drop this, chances are it might break, but it still feels pretty good. That's what epoxy is for. <laughs> I'm not going to put epoxy on it. Magazine cat, um, magazine release, sorry. Very strong also. All of it feels very good. Now, I'm going to recommend <coughs> picking up a foregrip for a simple reason. I bought this one off, I forget where, for very cheap. Um, when you hold the Scorpion with the drum mag, there's no really good place to hold it, as you can see. Foregrip, on the other hand... Which is quite easy to install and was on the SRC. Oh, well, look. Slide it in place. Screw it in the right way. Boom, it's on. Much, much better. Um, I also brought a laser. I don't know where I picked this one up, either I bought it used from someone. This fits also very well, but again presents the problem of being able to hold it properly. Well, I guess we'll get on to the firing test. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. I love this. This is really interesting. <coughs> this is where the bat bat battery compartment is. 7.2 volts, so not too bad. For an AEP, it's pretty good. By the way, as I said last time, the uh, G36 was running an 8.4. Yeah, I made a mistake and bought an 8.4, stupid me, and thought something was wrong <coughs> with it, but it turns out I just bought a uh, 9.6, works beautifully. Um, not much else to say about this. Oh, the buttstock is metal, so very good also. Um, yep. You get to see over time if the paint will last and not allow it to rust. Well, oh, well, one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, it's got rings over here for a sling mount, but I've read a lot of reviews that say they don't recommend using it as a sling mount because... <laughs> It'll this, pop off. No, this is a clone of the Tokyo Maru, so this is by Well, obviously. So, I mean, it's, it's a clone. It's not going to be the exact copy, but let's get on the firing test. Semi-auto, pretty good. I haven't tested the battery's duration. Like, uh, apparently it'll last a drum mag and a half or about... Uh, five regular mags, but I haven't tested that too much. Help if I want on the mag. Though it's quiet at least compared to the other ones that we have. Our yeah. neighbors haven't been too amused by it yet. They're still mad about my nitro car. <laughs> Give me a second. Yeah, the manual winder sucks, but what are you going to do for an AEP? And that's why the SRC G36 has an electric wind. The problem is, the electric wind can't keep up with the rate of fire. <laughs> I learned that during my last game. That's a little fucked up. <laughs> just jammed it. This <laughs> didn't happen last time, I swear. By the way, this wasn't too expensive, this of a gun. It may have a slight problem. <laughs> Something just happened. <coughs> there you go. Very accurate. Um, 
Let me take a couple minutes to adjust the sight. I don't know if you can see it. Who are you aiming at? The fence behind, just to give you an idea of distance. Try and aim for the little tiny hole in the fence. It's hard to see, but... Oh, dear God, I can't. Have you guys... Oh! Oh, oh no, I missed. On this thing. All right, I'll go for a lot. Oh, that was pretty damn close. Wind it a little bit more. You don't need to wind it much, I'm just... You guys want to see something cool? This is what it looks like they're yellow. Yeah, I got yellow seeing. tinted goggles, because you can see the BBs so much easier. And if you're in a forest, like playing a game, I don't know why, just yellow helps with depth perception. But anyway, here's full auto. Yeah. I haven't tested the effective range. Again, I just got this oh, two days ago. There's still another one that we got to test later on, the Dragon. That will do a full review, and we will do a full review on the SOG. Less talky, more shooty. It's, it's got a decent spread. Like, I'm <laughs> probably 30 feet or so from the fence I'm shooting at. And it's got about a foot spread, maybe. Oh, less than that. Except for the fact they're coming back at me. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, overall, very solid gun, very good quality. Have not had any problems. Oh, I'll quickly try out the other mag. This, I just ordered another mag. Apparently, you can tape these together, and that works pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Electrical tape. Um, uh. See, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of a lot of auto electric guns run into the problem of when you fire in semi, at least my G36 had this, I only found it recently. If you fire in semi a few too many times successively, it just stops. You need to switch it into full auto, fire a couple of rounds, and then start firing in semi. I forget the exact reason you know, one guy told me. But this has no such problems. And same for full auto. And I'm and out. Anyways guys, we'll get back to you on the rest of them and Ow, the claymore. Have a good one.